Geometry Dash, while it appears easy at first glance, is a complete understatement, as behind the play button shows the levels created by its developer Robtop. And while these main levels fundamentally show the creative aspect of the game, nobody could have expected the lengths in which the Geometry Dash community would go, with the help of one simple click. While being given a handful of options to experiment and test the game's limits, two of which is what made the community spark on its own. By one, you can create your own levels and upload them for the community to see what you built, and the other for players to view it. But with this comes a very important task. You see, in order to upload your own levels, you need to beat it. Whether it is easy or difficult, it is what needs to be done. But that shouldn't be much of a problem unless you want to verify something unbelievably difficult. It has been done many times before to further expand the lengths of players' skill and precision. And while there were many players that broke the barrier to what was once deemed impossible, one level in particular has done just that. When creating a level that you want to stand out, you need to choose between three different routes. The creative route, difficult route, or a mix of both. And if you are lucky, your level could be featured. This means that the developer Robtop has approved the level to stand out with the tens of thousands of other known creators, instead of it being lost to time. And with these thousands of levels comes different varieties of difficulty, going from easy all the way to Extreme Demon, which is the hardest difficulty category the game presents. And with the hundreds of Extreme Demons out there, one stands out among the rest. And that level is none other than Tidal Wave. Created by AniLink, it is arguably known as the hardest level ever legitimately beaten. It took the verifier, Zoink, almost 50,000 attempts to beat it. And while most people wouldn't bother even attempting to get progress on this level, a few, however, did. The first major progression video uploaded was actually done the same day Tidal Wave was verified, on the 10th of September. Twenty four percent achieved by vision. It was the start of the race to become the first victor of this insane level. But there was a problem. The first drop of the level is infamously known as the hardest part because of its precision needed to pass through it. So if there was anyone to make more progress, it would take a little while for someone to pass it. But on October 23rd, Trick, one of the best players as of right now, achieved 43% moving past the hardest section of the level. Fucking hell, bro, I just got 43. Damn. Oh my god. At this point, Trick is now in the lead. Hundreds of thousands of players cheered him on for his progress. And what's crazy is that he wasn't done from there. Because four days later, on October 27th, he would achieve a new record of 62%. Oh my god, bro. Oh, yeah, he was no Holy sh trick. Oh my god. His dedication and consistency was insane. And to everyone, it looked like he was going to be the clear winner of the race to become the first victor. However, something would put a halt for anybody to have additional progress. Months would go by without any major progress from Trick or Vision, and nobody else wanted to give it a try. Why exactly? Well, you see, two months before Trick's 62% run, Geometry Dash had its 10-year anniversary, and some major news was announced in that video. The release of Geometry Dash's recent update, 2.2. It was to be released at some point in October, and for the meantime, everyone was focused on waiting for this very long-awaited update. But weeks would go by, and there was no update. It turns out, Geometry Dash was going to be pushed back to November. And while that doesn't seem far away, the hope for 2.2 to release would sadly diminish. Again, weeks would go by with no update. Until... Robtop actually released it.
The news spread like wildfire. Millions of people looked away from the hardest levels and wanted to experience the new update in all of its glory, testing out many new mechanics, the new platformer mode, breaking Geometry Dash, and more. And while everyone is having the time of their lives, a massive controversy would unleash, and it would draw everyone's attention back to Tidal Wave. Despite Zoink verifying the level five months before, Tidal Wave never actually had been rated. Everyone didn't think much of it at first, but because it has been two months since Robtop released 2.2, people thought he'd finally have the time to rate it, but it never happened, which made people so mad to the point that Geometry Dash mods were getting attacked, which eventually ended up with Robtop being the decider to rather rate it or not. And well, it was rated. With the community now focused back to Tidal Wave, progress would slowly start returning. Because a day before Tidal Wave's official rating, Helix would get a run of 40%, making him Trick's first competitor and one of the most underrated players in the race. What? Although, this competition was short-lived, because in Helix's own words, this attempt was crazy blessed. I am not getting back there for a solid minute, meaning Trick's title as the dominant player was safe. But only a week later, Trick would meet his new competitor. Uh, oh my uh, god, what the fuck? <laughs> now you have to focus from zero then, Trick. <laughs> Somebody had matched Trick's 62% run. And not only that, but this player had just barely beat Trick's record by pure decimals. This was W Popoff. With both Trick and Popoff having the same percentage, the race has officially started. People have been chanting both players for their new and surprisingly fast progress on the level. While the community questions who is superior, both players have been non-stop grinding Tidal Wave. And on February 25th, Popoff would get a new best. What? 76%, dying at the second last part of the level. And while the community starts shifting sides on who is going to be first, Trick would get 73% just a day later. 73. The race was getting closer, and people were excited and curious on who would be victorious. But four days later, Pop Off would literally pop off. I know, I'm sorry. 95%. He would die at the last click. People were thrilled and upset that Popoff would die because of a simple misclick, but at this point, he was far above in the race. With Trick having 73% and Popoff with 95, the race seemed conclusive with the belief that Popoff would win. But something would happen that would have everyone edging on their seats. On March 4th, Trick would return for vengeance. No! 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 Oh my gosh! No! What? No! No! There's no! 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 I couldn't breathe. I literally couldn't breathe. Ninety-five percent dying just barely before Popoff's run. This is by far one of the closest races that the community has ever seen. Not only are we witnessing two absolutely amazing players making history but it made everyone glued to their screens to find out who would finish the level off for good. And on March 8th, someone would finally put an end on Tidal Wave. I beat Tidal Wave! I beat it! I beat it! Oh my god! I beat it! Oh my god! No! There's no way! There's no way I just did that! There's no way! I beat it! I... Oh my god! I beat it! <sighs> After over 70,000 attempts, Trick would become the first victor of Tidal Wave, finally closing the race after many months. And while the story would normally end here, there are some last minute updates. Popov would become the second victor three days after Trick. 
It's crazy to understand how determined and connected this community truly is. Both players supported each other along the way, and it's a journey that no one should ever forget. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I apologize if I missed out on anyone's progression or any additional information. This is my first Geometry Dash video, so please excuse me. Thank you all for watching, and uh... Pneumoencephalography.